Hello everybody and welcome to a new series called Testing Products with Lucy. The first thing I'll be talking about in this series are knee sleeves. Now A7 sent me two of their prototype knee sleeves for me to test out. So what are knee sleeves? Well, knee sleeves are, I know, wow, sleeves for your knees. Now why should you use knee sleeves? Except for the fact that they keep your legs warm and safe, especially if you uh, have weak knees, uh, they give you a little more compression. And usually when you buy the size that they recommend, they'll just be uh, hugging, feeling, which feel really comfortable. For powerlifting though, people tend to use them as, um, as a compression and to add more weight to their squat. So they'll buy them really, really tight and they will, could be able to add a lot of kilos to your squat. Uh, think about 10 kilos, which would be around 20, 25 pounds. So sleeves are completely a different thing than the wraps. Uh, you can use sleeves for raw powerlifting, whereas wraps, which are a stiff material band, which you can wrap around your knee really, really tight, um, they are used for equipped powerlifting. So the ones that I'll be talking about and comparing are of course the two I got from A7. Uh, they're two pretty um, different types of sleeves and I'll be, be comparing them to the SBD sleeves. The reason why I'll be comparing them to the SBD sleeves is because they are very familiar. A lot of people uh, wear them and I've been using them for around two years. So I really got a good feel with them. and can, It's something I can really compare them to easily. So the five things I'll be rating them on will be uh, one, general look and feel. Two, that will be putting them on. Three will be compression and tightness. Four will be Uh, four will be material and five will be So the five things I'll be comparing them to will be one general look and feel That will be two the tightness and compression Three the material four putting them on and off and five will be the details So I'm gonna compare the two sleeves I got from a7 like I said to the SPDs which are really common these are the SPDs that I have. They are in a size small and the other ones I got were in size X, extra extra small. And to make it really uh, comparable, I'll keep that in mind while telling you about the compression and these kind of things. So, one of the A7, this is the whole black one, which I'm going to review. The second one I got is this gray one. And like I said, both will be compared to the SPDs. The first thing I'll be talking about will be the general appearance and feel of the sleeves, starting off with the SPD. So the SPD looks like a one piece of uh, neoprene. Um, it looks really sturdy. I've had this for two years and it looks really nice still. I've been putting it in the, in the washing machine, in the dryer. The logo is still on. It's um, it's a simple sleeve actually by the looks, but it's thick. It looks good. I can't really say more about it. Then the second product will be the black sleeve of A7. And um, the first thing, thing I notice, it's a little bit thinner than the SPD sleeve. It's also, it appears longer. It also looks more tapered. Um, it looks thinner at the bottom and really wide on top. Also at the top, the stitching makes it a little bit more narrow, which I'm curious about how that will feel on your leg. Furthermore, it looks really sleek, which I like. I like the black with the white logo. It looks really good and sturdy. Stitching is nice, nice band on the side where they uh, come together. It's also one piece like the SPD. So it's actually really comparable. And then the second sleeve of A7, the third of the test will be the gray A7. This one looks and feels a lot different than the other two. It feels a lot more sturdy, stiffer. Um, I really like the feel and the look of the three patches or actually four patches of the sleeve. Uh, it also has a grip on the front top. 
and on the front bottom, which probably will make it uh, harder maybe to put on, but also better to stick on your knee. The light greys are the only one that doesn't have a label for left and right. That's something unique about these. Also looks really cool, a really sturdy, thick stitching, thick material. It looks like it has two types of material. And one of the most interesting things I think about this sleeve is that it has a, a tapered form. So it's wider and then it's thinner where your knee is and then it's wider again where your calf is. So um, I'm really interested in these, but we'll see when I try them on. I also want to say something about the materials of these sleeves. Um, I looked inside of them to see what material they were made of. Now the SPD and the gray from A7 both said that they were 95% uh, neoprene and 5% elastin. Nylon, I'm sorry, 5% nylon. So I think they're the same material or at least very comparable. Okay, so I'm gonna put them on now to let you show and see how easy they go. The reason that I have put, in, that I have put on socks to make them glide on easier. I'll start with the SBD. Left, which is my left feet. And uh, this is a little tip for how I put my sleeves on. Uh, like I said, I use socks or when I have leggings on, I just keep them on. And then I fold the bottom and put them down again. You make them as small as you can. Um, and then you fold the top half over the bottom half. Reason for doing that is that it, it ends up on top of your knee. You pull down the bottom half and you pull up the upper half. Um, okay, so I stretch my knee and I pull as fast as I can and I pull as high as I can. And then it stops. So the only thing I have to do now is bring up the upper half and bring down the lower half. And then this is how it looks. I have a little bit of space, but like I said, it's a little bit larger. It fits nice. And when I bend, it doesn't fold up too much. Number two, the black A7. There we go. Even though this was a little bit tighter, it feels really easy. And maybe it's because the inner lining of this sleeve, but it's really soft and easy to put on. It also wants to glide down now. So I'm holding it up, putting it a little bit further and unsleeving, unfolding the upper half and the lower half of the sleeve. And there you go. It's long. And it feels actually really comfortable. I didn't expect it to feel this comfortable, um, but it really does. So let's see if I stand up and I can show you the back. It doesn't fold. It looks really good. I like the look and the feel. And when I squat down, it gives me a decent amount more perhaps than the SPD of support. And that feels really good. It doesn't fold up necessarily more than needed here. Not enough, not a lot of fold. I think even less than the SPD. Sleeve number three, the gray A7. Same story, stretching my leg, putting up in one fast movement, pulling a little bit more up. You can see it's under my knee, up my knee. It doesn't really matter. I always like to keep it up my knee and I fold them over again. In competition, I'll put my sock down again because you aren't allowed to have your sock touch your knee sleeves. But for now, I did the same for the other two, so I'll keep that the same. First impression, putting them on, it doesn't feel as tight, but it does feel really firm compared to the other A7, uh, which was good. This feels really comfortable. It's not so long, but it feels really tight. It, feel, it fits really good on my knee. Um, you can see it, it is a kind of look, a diff, it looks like a different material, could also be the color. So let's squat down, it doesn't fold. Now it starts to fold, it feels really tough, but 
but that makes it pretty easy. And um, it's back again. And once again, squat down and squat up. Now, I don't know if you could see it on film, but this one really made me feel comfortable. It made me want to squat deeper on one knee because I felt I could really have, I really got a lot of compression out of it. So there we go. It also isn't uh, curving into my leg. This is really comfortable, more than the other two. It feels strangely uh, uncompressed, even though it really gives you a tight feel. And perhaps that's because these are looser on the edges, which is a good thing in my opinion, because they're still tight. Now putting them off, holding down, and then one moving. They're down and they're off. So here, this will be my final verdict of the three sleeves. On number three, that will be the black A7 sleeves. They are long, which are really comfortable, but also makes it hard to put on, and they're not as stiff as I like to be. Number two will be the SBDs. They've been my favorite thing about lifting equipment for since forever, um, and I still love them. I know we'll still probably use them, but. There is a reason why number one will be the first and it will be the A7, the gray version. They're a lot stiffer, they stay on your knees really well, they have a really good compression and they are really easy to get on. Uh, so I changed up my uh, go-to bag, the A7 sleeves, with the new of A7. So this was the first episode of testing products with Lucy. I hope you find this video uh, useful. If you have other tips or ideas for me to test out, let them uh, let show them, tell me about them in the comments below and perhaps I could be able to test them out for you. Um, I really enjoyed it. I have a lot of more products for you to see and for me to test out and um, hope to see you in the next video.